All right, as we pan on back through, uh, let's get an update on Carl Edwards running in the 10th position. Alan? Well, Carl Edwards hoisting a NASCAR Busch Series championship trophy today, Marty, would certainly be a welcome, positive headline for what has been a very difficult week for Carl. After he and Matt Kenseth got into it on the track in the next Nextel Cup race at Martinsville last Sunday, there was a much publicized now, uh, we'll call it confrontation, between Carl and Matt after the race, where Carl certainly came off as the aggressor, appearing like he was going to punch Matt at one point. Carl, in his comments since then, has said he never was going to. He just wanted to get a reaction out of Matt. Uh, talked with Carl before the race today. He's very much apologized for his role in that and said he would like to put it behind him, and he certainly learned a lot this week. A championship today would be a positive headline he'd sure like to have. Certainly would as we have 27 laps to go now, and David Rudiman still doing all he can to keep his slim championship hopes alive. Scott Wimmer also looking for his first win this year, right behind him in second place. Looks like Wimmer just can't get enough laps under his belt right now to run down David Rudiman. And David at the moment just flat got a better car. That time by a tenth and a half faster than Scott Wimmer. Well, and we still have to point out, our longest run under green flag conditions has been 19 laps today, guys. And so folks, if you're wondering how fast they go around this racetrack, the last lap, a 23.74 second lap, so it's pretty quick. Oh, absolutely right. Translates to about 116, 115 miles an hour. I'm glad you said that, Marty, because us race drivers, used to be race drivers, <laughs> talking seconds, not mile per hour. That's right. <laughs> There's Marcus Ambrose, our pole sitter, and he has uh, sort of been uh, up to the sixth position now, but it, it seems to have flattened out a little bit for him as he was trying to fight his way back. He has the freshest set of tires of everybody in front of him on that racetrack, but there goes Jason Leffler in the 38 car, back around underneath him. You know, we talked earlier about how the track conditions are changing. It's almost starting to get dark here. The sun's starting to set down into turn three, which is going to be right in these drivers' eyes. Randy going into turn three, which is going to probably hurt things worse. Let's get an update on Jason Leffler as, uh, whoa, McMurray gives up another spot, and here comes Leffler. Well, yeah, that's right. Jason Leffler has pressure tires as well. They, remember, they came down on lap 179, restarted 22nd. A few laps ago, Jason Leffler came over the radio, told his crew chief, I'm just going to drive it to the front. He was 12th at that point. He's currently that's a great point, Shannon. You're right. It was lap uh, 179, and uh, Marcus came in at 166, so it gives you an idea. And McMurray is uh, losing more positions. It looks like his grip is going away. Well, one more spot. That's, it could be team orders. That's it is a Roush car. So right now, Carl Edwards smelling a championship, trying to nail it down. His next victim is Jason Keller. The fastest car on the, on the racetrack that last lap was the 22 car of Mike Bliss. Landon Castle still not willing to ease off on the potential champion. And oh, that's for ba battle for position. And I'd hate to be Landon Castle if it gets in the corner a little too deep and takes out the points <laughs> leader right now. That's not a good for your resume, guys. That makes me a little nervous. But gonna, this is also going to teach him how to learn how to pass a guy without getting into him. That's You just don't want to punt the guy out of the way. 20 laps to go here at Memphis. It has turned into a marathon event, the longest bush race ever. Back in 1997, three hours, 48 minutes, 25 seconds. That was a gateway. 23 caution laps, 23 caution flags for 112 laps, Marty. Incredible. All right, let's reset it here. It's David Rudiman. Mike Bliss is now in the second as he managed to get around Scott Wimmer and bumps Wimmer back to third. David Reagan is fourth. Jason Leffler is fifth. Marcus Ambrose rounds out your top six. And we're finally starting to see a little spacing here. That's right. 18 laps to go. 22 car. Mike Bliss was the fastest again. And right now, Carl Edwards' car, he's back in 10th, guys. He just can't seem to gain any ground. In fact, he's about three-tenths of a second slower than the leader. And I can guarantee you, there's going to be another caution. And it is Stephen Wallace that goes around in turn number four, bringing out our 24th right caution. Get it fired up. 
They're waiting for Stephen to fire it up. This is our third time, as this is our 800th Bush Series race, third time in 800 races. There have been 70 or more laps under caution, or 20 or more laps, or 20 or more cautions, I'm sorry. And it's another case of a car just getting in the corner too deep. You see the 49 car of Brian Keselowski just locked the left front wheel up, couldn't get slowed down, and got in the back of Steven. Take another look at it. See his front brakes glowing red, brakes yeah. are on fire. Drivers are having a lot of problems with that. We mentioned the 26 cautions back at Hickory in 92. There were 20 at South Boston in 91. And now this is number two on the list, 24. Here's from Mike Wallace's camera and different perspective, same result. Same right, exactly right. And that left front brake locks up. When, when you lock that left front brake up, you know, all you're gonna do is slide into the guy in front of you. And there was a guy that day wasn't racing for position, so that shouldn't have happened. Was there a little uh, confrontation there on the way to pit lane? Well, I would say that Steven's pretty upset right now. His temper's getting We are through. out of the race. We are out of the race. Go to the trailer. It's over. They pulled our scorecard. Straight, turn left. Okay, so uh, something has happened that NASCAR did not like, and they have told Steven to go to the trailer. Well, there's rough driving going on right now. NASCAR's not going to tolerate it. They got mad at Steven for... You know, he got mad because he got spun out by the 49, and he's just upset right now. He's had a bad year, and he's hoping for a good race here, and it didn't happen, so frustration set in. All right, let's go back and see if we can see what happens here. Now, this is after the incident has occurred, and Steven looks like he's tracking the 49 down. Yeah, he did. Well, he never hit him, but he sure run him down, didn't he? Yeah. We seen that on the green, and the guy got wrecked, and all they did was give him a two-lap penalty. And they parked Steven on this one, so uh, he'll be visiting the trailer as well. Helmet side of the car, and not a happy camper. Frustrations, tempers. You That's short track racing, guys. That's the way it is. You said it. Lots of temper, lots of contact. And we've seen plenty of both today. All right. Let's talk about David Rudiman because he has led 177 laps. He's on the verge of winning here. If he can go 14 more, Vince. Jerry Baxter, the crew chief. What's the emotion of your driver right now? It seems like everyone's a little scattered at this point. A lot of restarts, a lot of yellows. I think he's a little frustrated, just like the rest of us. You know, 25 restarts leading the damn race, you, or start race. Uh, you end up running out of bag of tricks, you know. So he just got to be patient and hang in there and try and bring us a... Uh, race home for these errands folks you know they've done a good job helping us all year long and and they deserve it let's see if they can finish the job 24 cautions and, and, and he's right how many bag of tricks are there i mean how many different types of restarts can you lay on people when they're following you in second place well everybody's running out of patience they're running out of rhythm they're running out of time they're frustrated they've never seen anything like this and even the crew chiefs you can see that